All right, so we are currently at work. Um, on the agenda for today, we have um, obviously work. I got to get through work. Um, I start at 8.30. Uh, I don't know when I'll be getting off. Um, hopefully sometime around 8.30 so we can hit the gym afterwards. And when we get to the gym, you already know what we're doing. We're doing a full body workout. Um, I might throw some cardio in there uh, because now that I'm on this diet, um, I'm going to start doing more cardio. I'll probably start out with... Uh, two cardio sessions or just one long cardio session for the first one if I don't do cardio uh, well hold on today's Thursday um, I guess I can just do a cardio session yeah I'll do I'll just do weights today and then uh, Friday we do a cardio and then Saturday in the morning well, I don't know because I don't I don't know if I want to do cardio and train on the same day so I'll just fill it out I'll just fill it out um, so I might just end up doing cardio after my training session today, but we'll see. But anyway, man, we at work. It's a gloomy day. You can see the rain on the way to work. We had a, a tornado warning in my area. So, but I think this past year, it's, it's 849. It was, the tornado warning was effective until 845. But anyway, um, we've got the gym, like I said, cardio, maybe. And uh, when I get home, I'm going to give you guys some more details on this diet. All right, so let me go ahead and get through this day. I might catch up with y'all through the day or sometimes, um, sometime today, maybe on my break. Um, but if not, I'll see you after work. All right, so let me tell you something real quick, right? So right now, I just left the vitamin shop. Right, as you can see, it's right there. I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit more. The vitamin shop is uh, right there. And uh, I just purchased something that I usually have to order. And uh, this thing or these things are my favorite. They become my favorite things. So without further ado, I am going to show it to you. So in this bag right here, we got chocolate chip outright bar and we've got the s'mores outright bars man these two are this one I, I, I began I started out with this one and then um, this is new to me but the crazy thing is vitamin shop I think vitamin shop will now be stocking uh, the outright bar because I follow Mark Lobliner's channel and he said he's actually doing a vitamin shop tour where he goes around to some vitamin shops and he you know shakes hands and it kisses babies but for me like this is great news because I usually have to order mine like right now today is Thursday and I have a package uh, of outright bars they are the uh, cookies and cream flavor and they will be arriving tomorrow so it's good to know that I can just go around the corner from where I live and just get me a box of outright bars without having to wait for the mail to come today is a great day in America Hey. All right, so we are done with the work. It's 7:40. We're about to head to the gym and get it in, man. It's still raining, as you can see. But listen, man, we about to head to the gym. We're not gonna let a little bit of rain drops stop us from getting to the gym and making some gains. All right, so let me concentrate on driving. I'm gonna catch up with y'all at the gym. Yo, 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 allow me to reintroduce myself. It's been a minute, but now we back at it. Do you feel the vibes? Do you feel the vibes? I bring nothing but positive energy, 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 energy. I bring nothing but gains, 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 gains. All right, man, first up, y'all see it, dead list. From those of you who, I don't even know where I was the last time I posted a video. Uh, I know it was a couple months ago. I know I've only been consistently back deadlifting for like a couple of months, but uh, I made a lot of progress, as you can tell in that last clip. Um, it was, I'm just gonna give y'all some updates, right? So uh, it was probably 
Mm, I fell off, because that's usually how it goes. We fall off, we fall out the gym. Um, and then I, I actually started to get back into the gym. Now, I haven't been consistently back in the gym like three days a week, like I usually do. But when you're trying to get back into the gym from ab- being absent in the gym, if you, if you can make it one day a week, that's better than nothing. You know what I mean? And that's what I started out doing one day a week. And then I went to two. I have actually yet to be in there three times a week. But um, I really focused on my deadlift because I had to stop squatting. Uh, Should I develop some quadricep tendinitis? For those of you who don't know what that is, that's, you know, the little, the tendon that connects the, the, like the teardrop into like your kneecap. Once that thing get inflamed, boy. As a matter of fact, let me just let some more air out. Because that thing is serious. <laughs> That's serious. So I had to completely, uh, I just stopped squatting. And um, actually, uh, this clip or this workout will probably, be, will probably be like my third or fourth time squatting in the last couple of months. So just to keep it all the way real with you. That's that's the update on my squats. Um, the diet, the diet starts, uh, I can't even remember what day it is. I think it's like the, the uh, I'll put it up on the screen because I have it written down, um, or I have an app that records it. But um, yeah, we're just gonna attack things like we usually do, man, just full body or nothing. Every time we hit the gym, we train everything. Everything, every day is everything day, you know? We're just gonna pick back up where we left off. Um, The goal of the diet is to get back down to, well not back down, but down to 190. The closest I've ever been was like 199, then I fell off, we're gonna stop falling off and we we gonna make it, man. We're gonna accomplish these goals. Right, ain't no, ain't no more excuses, you know. My boy Kobe died, so it was like, you know, that really woke me up, man. You gotta be out here grabbing like by the balls, man. You gotta get it, cause they ain't, ain't no telling when your day gonna come. You feel me? So we got some dips right here, three plates with the 25. I made a lot of progress on that as well. Um, yeah, man, full body frequency, man. That's the way to go, in my humble opinion. Right, but hey, what do I know? Um, so next clip about to be some squats. We do, uh, I think these are, I don't know if these are like paused, but I don't know. Let me see. Let me do these paused. Nah, they're not paused. They're just squats. Um, I warmed up a bit before these. Uh, did like some lunges, and I'm going to have to start doing a lot of foam rolling. And uh, we're going we to get it worked out, man, because by the end of this year, mark my word, by the end of this year, 405, 405 on the squat for reps or nothing. If I don't get up to 405 on the squat for reps by the end of this year, it's a fail. All right. So be looking forward to my squat progress because I think everything else is straight and my diet progress. All right. So back to the video. All right. So. We headed back to the car. Workout is done. As you can see outside, it's pretty dark. Just got, got the gym in the background. Shoot, man, we had a, a good workout. Everything went well. Hit a PR on the deads. Got back to squatting. So I call that a successful workout. Oh, man. I know I'm gonna have to foam roll. I'm gonna have to foam roll these knees when I get back home. I know that much. Ice them down. That's all I gotta do. That's my. That's 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 old man. That's old man care right there. But anyway, I'm about to drive. You were my life complete. Shut up. Anyway, I'm about to go home, so I'll see you there. All right, so now we're back home. I'll turn off the, the fan on top of the, the microwave. But um, we're about to make something to eat, and I've decided that I'm gonna have that right there, which is the... Um, Chocolate chip outright bar. I already have it. 
I already have it put into um a macros right there. Okay, so it says I have 92. So it says we have uh, 92 grams of carbs, 28 grams of fat, and 118 grams of protein. Hmm. All right, so in here we've got uh, some red potatoes cooking. Just regular red potatoes. Um, I just sprayed this in there. It's olive oil cooking spray. And over here, we've got our Green Wise boneless chicken tenderloins. And we're going to put those in here, which is the air fryer. Okay, so. Bring this over here. I'll spray this down. We're gonna come over here and spray these down as well. Make sure they get coated. Cooking oil, cooking spray. some sprinkle. This is the seasoning I'm going to use for the chicken tenderloins. So, you just arrange them in there like so. Nothing special. Turn it on. Probably cook these for, um, since there's only four of them and they're not really that thick, we'll probably put the temp to, probably leave it on 370, probably cook it for, let's do 12 minutes. All right, so we'll let those cook for about 12 minutes. We'll probably check back with the chicken at around uh, halfway through just to see uh, the temp of the chicken and how fast it's cooking and whatnot. So let's come over here. It's getting kind of hot. Roll those. Stir these up. So, um, so now with the potatoes, I'll usually boil them first, just so that the the insides of the potatoes are soft, so they don't have to cook that long. Because if you don't boil them first and you cook them, the outside can become brown, or you can burn the outside before the inside is really even soft enough for you to eat it. All right, but but tonight I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to cook them on a the low temp. Right, we're gonna cook them on a low temp, we can brown them, and then um, once they're brown, if we have to, we can make the temp go even lower just to make sure the insides are cooked. All right, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with all the extra stuff, so um, I'll show y'all the finished product. But in the meantime, we're gonna eat this. All right, this is the outright bar. Uh, the cookie one, looks like it has some oatmeal in it. With like some little oatmeal, um, I don't know if you can see it. Look like it has like some little oatmeal pieces. Let me take a bite. You don't like when people smack?
This is actually my first time trying this one. So I was trying to show y'all. Um, I'm trying to look up at the top of the screen. Let's see if this is coming into focus or not, but it's not. So I'll just take a picture with my phone, because my phone does better shots with food. And I'll put a picture of it on the screen, just so you can get a closer look at it. But I mean, it's pretty good. Um, my favorite flavor, flavor is the cookies and cream or the s'mores, which I, have, I actually have a box of cookies and cream coming tomorrow. So I have three boxes of outright bars. But I mean, this isn't bad. It's a little, um, a little bit more dry drier or dry more dry than uh, the other ones the other ones have like a like a no bake cookie consistency this is kind of I don't know if it's just this box or just this batch but this is kind of like a it's not like really dry but it's, it's dry yeah. um, it's not as soft and moist as other ones but <clears throat> I'm gonna finish eating this and I'm catching back I can't even talk and I'm going to catch back up with you guys when the food's done. All right, so okay, there we go. Just stick it through. Okay, that's done. They're all probably done. If that one's done, they're about the same thickness. All right, so we'll just push it back in there and turn it off. We don't want them to cook anymore. But we just want to keep them warm while this stuff finishes. Okay, so this is the finished product. You got the potatoes, the red potatoes cooked with like salt and like some Creole seasonings. Then you got some uh, Slappy Mama seasonings on the chicken. This is 4.8 ounces and this is, I believe it was 8.2 ounces of potatoes. And that leaves me with still, you can't really see it. 46 carbs grams of carbs 22 grams of fat 64 grams of protein and that's approximately 651 grams of I mean 651 calories so I'm gonna grab something to drink on I'll grab ice drink which has no calories in it even though I should be drinking something with calories in it now you don't usually want to drink your calories but when you're like me and it's 11:45 at night and you're trying to um, eat your calories, or you're trying to, um, you know, hit your macros, then drinking your calories might be a good idea. But me, <clears throat> I'll just eat this. Um, I don't have to work tomorrow. So that means I can be up. Um, I have a video to edit anyway, and I've got a couple things to do. So I'll probably be up for like the next two hours, and then, um, Matter of fact, let me put some ketchup. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add some ketchup to the serving. A serving of ketchup is 17 grams. So, put that to grams. Check it up. Measure out 17 grams. 17 grams on a design. Ooh, now it's 19. Ooh, now it's 18. All right, so 18 grams of ketchup. I'm about to smash. Uh -huh. I don't know what you about to do, but I'm about to smash this. And I'm gonna catch up with y'all on the flip side. Now, the last meal of the day is gonna be another protein shake. In it we have 9.3 ounces of this Fairlife chocolate milk. Which is the rest of it. I put a little bit of water in my shaker cup because this only, this was, it's all of it. I usually put about 12 ounces of whatever milk, but it was only 9.3 ounces left in the bottle, so that's what I did. And I added a little bit of water and um, two scoops of the Synthesis. So this is what I have left. 
Now there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat something that's three carb, five grams of fat, and five grams of protein. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have, I'm gonna have some Scooby Snacks. These are the best fruit snacks around. I don't care what anybody tells you. One of these package, these pouches is 88, not 88, but 80 grams. Of, not 80 grams, I can't even talk. 80 calories. So, after eating those fruit snacks, I will have eight calories left and I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna drink my protein shake, eat my Scooby Snacks. <sighs> it is 12.43. I hope you like this vlog. Um, just comment below if you have any ideas that you would like to see in my videos. Um, comment below if you like the workouts being inside the vlog if or if you want the vlogs being something not not the vlogs but um the workouts being something that stands alone on its own uh also comment that as well um it's good to be back uh i hope you guys are excited about um this series it's called i don't know what i'm gonna call it dang what should i call this series hmm Maybe the work, it'd probably be the work, or I might call it the Mamba mentality. And, do, and, and, um, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's late, I'm tired. Dedicate, and dedicate, you know, the series to a guy Cobes. Uh, I'll probably go with Mamba mentality. All right, so this is Mamba mentality, episode one. There's more episodes to come. Um, be expecting these vlogs every Sunday. I'm going to post a workout, uh, like a workout slash topic video every Wednesday. And um, I'm going to put my Instagram address in the, I'll put it on the screen somewhere right here. And uh, I'll maybe generate some question and answer, a question and answer type video based off of the responses or the questions that I get on Instagram. But if you have some, you can post them in the comment section of this video right now. But I'm ranting and I'm tired and I want to go to bed and I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to go to bed. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Right? And to my new subscribers, how y'all doing? To the OG, to the OG subscribers, salute. Um, we've got a lot more videos to go and I'll let y'all later.